Howdy y'all, and welcome to episode 8 of my Let's Play. Uh, over in my village today, uh, that's my main base, that's my B area. Um, I wanted to kind of show you some results that I've had messing around with villagers. Uh, as you can see, they're kind of spreading out a little bit more than they were. Uh, showed kind of earlier how they were all just clustering around this building over here looked online did a little research and just kind of looking into uh, villager behavior and uh, what makes these little dudes tick uh, one of the things that I found out is or what I was looking for is what what draws them what attracts them well, apparently doors attract them not they're not just for breeding but they also attract them uh, the doors on the exterior count towards their breeding so the doors you see on the exterior are the ones that are causing the number of villagers that you see but it's actual doors that attract them so the reason I was getting so much clustering around that building is uh, when I took all the doors off the side I just stuck them inside there uh, inside the building just stocked them up figuring I'd grab them if I ever needed them so there was probably a good 20 30 doors in there so that's why they were always going there so I got rid of those removed a floor uh, so there's only about uh, maybe 11 doors on that that building now uh, and they all should count towards breeding uh, then I took those doors and I moved them to the insides of of these buildings so they don't count towards breeding but they do attract the villagers uh, so I did that with all these buildings on this side of the village and put them in there. Now another thing that attracts them is pumpkins. Don't know why, uh, but apparently they like pumpkins. So I kind of put a couple over there to see. Um, but since I only have three, I, I don't know if they're doing anything. I may try putting some pumpkin patches over on this side just to see if I can get them to move around. Uh, so since I've done that, uh, and I've also got some stored doors in this building, uh, I've noticed them starting to spread out a little bit more. You will see them start coming a little further away because that building is, is not the main attraction anymore. Uh, they have started using all these buildings along here. Um, I also tried adding or changing the roofing style so there's a roof over the door. Uh, some of the posts that I saw and read uh, say that there has to be a roof over the door but I don't think that's the case uh, I, I, I just seem to have the same results whether or not it has a roof over it or not I think it's the doors is a big factor in getting them to spread out uh, you want all of them to be equally attractive this building is still the most attractive because it has the most doors but because I've added them to so many of these other buildings they're now starting to spread out a little bit more so I think I'm on the right track as far as getting to, to move around a little bit more than they were because before I think I showed in the first video that I did uh, for this series they just they were all just right around this building the whole time they, they rarely went anywhere else now you'll see that they're they're all the way over here just after that that small change so I really didn't have to change the village design any. I just had to uh, get them to to look around and wander around a little bit more. So, so I think that worked out pretty good. That's kind of what I was looking for is them spread out and moving. So now that I understand that a little bit more, I can probably start making some uh, other places for them to, to go uh, now that I because I've been wanting to make, uh, originally I wanted to put it like a market area over here. So I may do that now that I understand kind of how to get them to uh, spread out a little bit more. So I think that looks pretty good. Not too bad. It's definitely a bustling little city now. Uh, last night after I uh, got done with the, uh, the weird little miscraft things, I try to look around I really can't find anything on the new miscraft mechanics so sticking with the old one where the more information uh, you have in a miscraft age the better off you are uh, I tried making 
one or two different books and I tried to add as many symbols as I could. Uh, I went out to uh, one of my other ages um, that was semi-stable. It just had a, a slowness effect and um, hit up another four or five libraries. Um, discovered there's actually a library in town now also so that's another source of books and bookcases um, and uh, pages. It, that's an additional library on top of the library that's usually in a, in a village. Uh, so I got uh, probably another six or seven new pages that I didn't have. Uh, one of them being Normal Sun. And uh, I tried another two ages. And again, uh, I'm still unable to get a, a stable age. And I'm not really sure why. So uh, I'm going to try it again some more. We'll try to do a couple more ages today. See if we can't get a... Uh, well, see, look at that. They're all starting to come over here and use these houses now. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. They're, they're filling that one up. Go to another house. There's more houses than that one, buddy. Over here, use this one. Psst, you. Hey, you in the white shirt. Or walk way over there. There's still apparently the uh, social aspect. Like, they're using this one, which is weird. And that one doesn't have all the doors. And this one does, so. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the doors have to be open. Let's try that. Let's just open all these. See if that are closed. Let's try that and see if that affects anything the next next growth or the next uh, time they all come out. Over here to the bee area. Uh, did a couple of different things with bees. I'm still I'm waiting for an update. Um, I'm thinking maybe this version of forestry or uh, extra bees is having a problem. I still cannot get the bis bee. It just again I just go around in circles. Uh, so what I did do though was I bred a second uh, reactive bee or radioactive bee. So these two are both pumping out uh, the radioactive combs, which gives me uranium. And for miscraft ages, you need a bunch of ink, and I don't have too much, and I really don't want to be bothered to go around and kill squids. So I created uh, stained. Well, I didn't create them. I had a couple, and I kept them. Uh, so we have two stained uh, bees, and what they produce are the ink sacs. So that's going to give me a nice little supply of those for when I need them. They're, they're not too much. They produce one, I think, every 10 minutes. Uh, I didn't make nocturnal or any of that stuff, so they're only working during the day, so I shouldn't get a, a crazy amount of, of bee product from them. Some of the others just kill me. I did pay attention to this for a couple of or a few hours one day, and I had combs of different sorts all the way down to here. <coughs> so those are definitely something that you can get away from you if you're not uh, not careful. So I'm going to uh, get some stuff together. Uh, I need to go look at one more website bef that I that I bookmarked that I want to go take a look at, and then I'm going to head over to the farm area and see if we can't make another miscraft age. Hopefully th this time uh, it's not all screwed up and and uh, it's actually stable, and we can figure out uh, what causes the instability. Uh, I thought I had a good one yesterday. I'm thinking maybe I put the symbols in the wrong position, so I'm going to try the exact same book, but I'm going to change the the, the order of some symbols, and hopefully that'll uh, that'll make a difference. So when we're back, we'll be over at the farm and we'll start doing some miscraft. Welcome back to the farm. You know, I actually spent like uh, oh, 15, 20 minutes uh, making a couple of ages. Uh, before I realized that uh, I wasn't recording. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I definitely got my uh, mentally slow card on that one. Lieutenant Dan says Jenny's a hoe. Yeah, that was great. Um, but I made a couple more ages and they didn't work. Uh, still getting a lot of instability. So I decided I'm just going to put... Uh, like every symbol I can in there 
and uh, like I said, the more information you put in, the more the less miscraft will enter on its own. Right? You know, I think that was true with the old one or the previous versions, and I think it's true with this one also. So the more you can put in there. So I made my first stable age, and uh, that's this one right here. And I went with a plains biome, uh, single biome, standard terrain, uh, noon, uh, zero length. That just means it's not going anywhere, so it'll be uh, noon all day. Uh, a normal sun. Now, if I wanted to uh, change that somehow, I would put that symbol before the sun one. Uh, normal stars, again, I could have changed the color there. Uh, normal moon, I'm not sure if you can change the moon color. Uh, no weather, standard lighting, uh, red for the sunset color, which it won't be, but I still put it in there. And then black for the night sky color, even though it shouldn't have night. Dungeons, lakes, villages and then the clear modifiers. So like I said, I tried to fill in as many possible gaps as I could so Miss Craft wouldn't any enter anything. So I, I, I've already been there, but we'll pop over. I haven't really done any searching around. Uh, so you come in and immediately I've got a, uh, a village right there and I believe I saw a, a library over here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Just said to render in. So this is really what we're interested in is these libraries because this is where we have uh, additional pages. So I did get the uh, frozen ocean. I already have that one. Desert hills. I already have that one. Uh, let's find the chest. There's always a chest in these things. Oh, there it is. And another brick I've got. Rainforest. Normal moon I've got. Squirt surface. So I have all those. We'll go ahead and pick up these books, though. Yeah, we can take all these books. Uh, generally, there's going to be a chest on one of these two sides. I've never seen one over here. Like I said, it's either on one of these two sides right here. It looks like we've got some the Thomcraft trees, the silver saplings. Okay, so, uh, like I said, you can see... Uh, I don't I'm not have any effects. I, I did another world where uh, it, everything looked normal except it was charged, and uh, there was something going on because all the animals had the little uh, little uh, kind of reddish pink uh, swirls, like you'll see for uh, uh, some of the beneficial healing stuff, like regeneration. So I that one wasn't great. I mean, it was bearable and uh, it was okay. I mean, it was all right. It just wasn't uh, the chart. I don't want a chartish world. I don't want to be running around having things zapping at me all the time. Got a little village here. I did go up in this tower. I had a couple, uh, thing of night tour. And, uh, let's see if it's got a Thawncraft library. I didn't check that. Anything in here? No, not really. It's not a library. This one may not have a library in it. What is this one? It's just a house with uh, everything going through it. Oh, okay, so that's a small one. So, since we're here, let's just run north. We'll just pick a direction north here. Or, well, actually, technically this is south. And, uh, See if we can find anything decent. Is this going to be one of the spider trees? No. We also want to look for Thomcraft dungeons. Uh, those are usually easy to spot on the mini map because they're a nice circular mound. So I'm not seeing any instability. We're definitely at uh, noon. Hmm. Moon's right there too. I guess since I said night sky color black. Hmm. So we're getting there. We're definitely getting there with the miscraft ages. I, I think uh I kinda get the order that things have to be in. Um whenever you're around in a wooded area and you see one of these and it's got spider webs in it, 
Uh, that means it's a uh, <clears throat> Thomcraft uh, chest tree. There's a, there's going to be a cave spider spawner. Whoops, that was the wrong, bud. What is that? You would find a cave spider spawner, and underneath that would be a chest. Now you have to break the spawner to uh, get to the chest. But that's okay. Just bring yourself a soul shard with you and and uh, get those uh, souls off of those. And you'll actually get them pretty quick. Now I love these trees, these big trees, these big rubber trees, because uh, uh, on a that's the only place mobs can spawn in a world like this, and they'll just be packed underneath there. So stay away from those, because you'll run right into them. Another village. Anything interesting here? Doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna find another library. Looks like anything in there? Nope. Yeah, I'm breaking their house. Sorry, buddy. You just gonna have to live with it. The library isn't. Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, another Thomcraft library. Yeah. No bueno. All right, so let's uh, keep going south here. See if we can find anything else interesting. Oh, another library over here. Now I did one uh, with the savanna as the biome. I don't suggest doing those because when you look at the mini map, uh, if you're looking for these libraries, got that one. Uh, rainforest got it. Rainforest got it. If you're looking at the mini map, uh, oh man, did I just really do that? Autumn woods, single black glowstone. No, we got all those. Get rid of this stuff. Yeah, the uh, when you're like looking and you see this little square, all the savanna trees look exactly like that. So it's really hard to pick it out just by looking at your uh, your map, whether or not you're coming up on a uh, library or not. Kind of like to find. Oh, I found uh, two portal guns uh, running around the other world, uh, both in Thomcraft dungeons. Uh, found uh, one just like I got that JP bodies or whatever, and then I found another one that was uh, a bacon gun. So, <clears throat> I mean, within within minutes. I mean, I, I went from one, found the gun, went to the other one, got the second gun. So. You know, that's three portal guns so far, and, and uh, I have not used a single uh, Nether Star for portal guns yet. Uh, my first one I got very early on. I was collecting spawners, and I had a wood forest biome, mm -hmm. and I was just running through there looking for uh, those trees. And if you're in a wood forest biome, all the trees are green, but if you look at this overhead map, all the trees are green except for the the ones you want, and they're gray. So I would just run around until I saw the gray, and then go to those. So I I was trying to get a spider spawner, soul shard, and uh, you know 200 souls per. So it didn't take me very long, and that's where I got my first one. So nope, it's another uninteresting village. So we'll keep going south. I find it really in good villages. Sometimes you find some really neat ones that uh, they're laid out cool, and other times, like right now, they just suck. So, oh, here we go. Here's a spider one right here. This is what I'm talking about. When you see the uh, the spider web up in these trees, this is what you're looking for. Um, this is a good source to find the uh, the items you need for uh, to make routers, the matrix logic circuit, or whatever that thing's called. So you got to break this first to get to the chest, and we got crap in this one. But uh, this is this is where I got my first portal gun. It was one of, out of one of these things right here. Just running around looking for them, and we got another library. Most time I've ever spent at the library. Well, that's weird. Come on, let's jump. There we go. And did I already come to this one? No. Come on. Right button. There we go. Chest. Magenta. I don't have that color. Shrubland. Don't 
know if I have that one. Green Hills, I've got clear modifiers. Okay, just make sure there isn't two. Okay, so this is a decent world. Um, I did put dungeons, I didn't put mines, so this might be actually a, uh, a decent... Uh, that's a Thomcrap dungeon right there, isn't it? This might be a decent world to my, maybe mine, because I didn't put caves, um, I didn't put mine shafts or anything like that. I only did dungeons, so I don't know if that means there's going to be more of them, or less of them. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was dumb. Fell in the hole. Your tears go down the hole. Uh, I've got, oh, here we go. Logic Matrix Programmer. I've, I've got a few of these, but these are the only places you can get them are uh, Dungeon Chest. And uh, they're absolutely necessary if you're going to make a decent router sort of sorting mm -hmm. system. Um, because you need two of the uh, upgrades you really need to make it work, uh, need require one of these right here. So, I don't know, I really need thorns. Okay. But if you don't have one of those, that's what you really need to make the, uh, the, uh, the items for. Anything else on here? What am I seeing over there? That looks like something. Just sand, or? Yep, that's a weird pattern. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the Logic Matrix program, you need that. And Imperium drops, which you can make, but uh, the Logic mm -hmm. made the Logic's Matrix programmer, uh, you can't make, you can only find it. Only find it. Okay, we're going to spend too much time in here. I think maybe we should go back and uh, maybe try to make something crazy. Not too crazy, but uh, uh, maybe something like this with uh, dense ores. And because uh, my last dense ore world, it wasn't very unstable. I, I boy, I uh, quarried the hell out of that thing uh, as soon as I got it. And it wasn't really unstable. Um, I think it gave slowness or something like that. And. Uh, so it wasn't too bad. I, I, it didn't affect me because I just ran quarries out of there. And, uh, oh, there's another one. Did I just come out of this one? Yeah, I only ran quarries out of it. So it worked fine. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. And I never noticed any, like, world instability. That was nice shooting a, shooting a doe. Come on. Eat that. Have some. Shish kebab. Why ain't you dying? You should have died. Void, I've got it. Jungle bo biome, I've got it. Let's go over here. Almost did it again. Slow weather, forested hills, night sky color, I've got. Ice, I've got. And many jungle, I've got. So yeah, I, I think, uh, I don't really need, I, yeah, I do pretty well just in the overworld on, uh, using it with a quarry, especially since they're so freaking fast now, uh, when they're fully powered, uh, with the, uh, steam boiler that I've got and, uh, hooked into the Tesseract, I can move it around real easily and, uh, it, man, it just flies. Uh, I don't even see the need anymore to, uh, do a frame quarry. That just seems an excessive amount of work and a, and a lot of materials for something that uh, really, I, I, I mean, I just don't need that amount of material. Never needed that much material to, uh, looks like, we, is this instability or, I don't know, it's just, just the way it looks. I don't know. I've seen areas like this in the overworld, so I don't know if that's just a planes thing or 
I think it is. I think that's just a planes thing. I haven't seen any other signs of instability. And it looks like it was just made that way. Okay. Nobody hanging out in the rafters. Rainforest and nope, oh, gonna be on this side. Stone. Just gonna take that one. Got that one, got that one. Don't oh, yeah. We've got all those. So we did get stone. I don't know what that would be good for. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there I don't know what they would be good for. I almost preferred the uh, the kind of more random ages of the old Miscraft. But I do like this one better because, uh, I mean, if you can figure it out, you're not going to waste. I think I went... Uh, when I was looking for glowstone crystals and uh, the miscraft crystals, I went through 60 some odd books. I actually got dense ores, like my third book, uh, but then I could never find the uh, the dense ores or the uh, or not dense ores, uh, glowstone or miscraft crystals, which was annoying. I had a diamond chest literally full of, uh, well, that's weird, of, uh, of books, just trying to find, uh, glowstone crystals, because I hate going in the nether. It's not so bad now that I've got the, uh, that salamander thing from Reckery, uh, they can bombard you all day, and they just miss, which is, is real nice. So, not a very feature-filled world. But, uh, oh, another spider one. Check this out real quick. And then we'll go back to the overworld and uh, we'll look at making a uh, another uh, age. Go ahead and just destroy you right now. And nothing decent. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the overworld. And uh, I'll meet you in the library there and we will make... We'll see just what kind of crazy age we can come up with and uh, what we need to do to just kind of make it stable. As crazy as we can, anyways. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go dump all this stuff and meet you back in the library. Okay, we're back, and I have put together um, some pages that I think would be interesting. I just kind of see what they, wanted, what they might do. So I picked Beach Biome. Extreme Hills, Forest Biome, and I made a Medium Biome, so they shouldn't all be too big. Uh, I picked the End. I'm not sure what that'll do. And then Standard Terrain, Standard Lighting, uh, Ender Starfield, and No Weather. Okay, that should be the World Gen. Uh, normal Moon, well, that can go there. Normal Moon, Normal Stars, and a Normal Sun with uh, Villages, Nether Fortress, Mine Shafts. Uh, crystals and then the clear modifiers see if that does anything so we're gonna put it in the book binder we're just gonna right click it in here it puts everything all the pages in the order that we had it in the book and the order does affect it from what I can tell and we've got our descriptive book so now we're gonna go run over and pop it in here And yeah, kitty cat, you wanna come over here? No? You just gonna stand there and stare at me and meow? Okay. And let's zap off and see what we get. We definitely got the Ender Star field. And it looks stable. And I guess the end I don't know what the end does. But it looks like we got a stable world. We definitely got our crystals. Fly way up here and see what we can see. Uh, I can't tell that the end does anything. I thought maybe it would. Uh, whoa, what is that? Is that just some weird generation? I 
Okay, I don't know what the end does. It doesn't. I, I figured it would do like uh, maybe a hell biome and give us the, just Enderman or something, but not the case. I do have a ton of mobs around now. Probably because I, I think there's so many mobs in the world uh, here because there's no underground generation when you do a Miscraft Age. It is. Uh, it is all above ground unless you put caves and well, there should be mine shafts. So, but I guess there's less places for them, so they just all spawn on on the surface. But I'm gonna do some exploring, and uh, if I find anything interesting, uh, I'll uh, update you the, uh, the the next episode. I think we definitely got a kind of a idea for for what we need to do to make some cool mistcraft ages. So I need to look at what I need to do now to. Uh, completely wipe out all the miscraft ages that I've got and start from scratch and make some of the ages uh, that I already had uh, work with the new miscraft mis mechanics and hopefully be as stable as, as possible. So we'll see you next episode. Thanks for coming by and take it easy.